Hey, what is up, studs? Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and today I have my review of the LEGO Star Wars 75242 Black Ace TIE Interceptor, and it really looks like anything but a TIE Interceptor, at least what most people would think of when they hear the words TIE Interceptors. I don't really understand where the definition of TIE Interceptor has gone since the original trilogy, but it certainly isn't what it used to be. That being said, this set includes 396 pieces, three minifigures being Griff Halloran, Poe Dameron, and BB-8, and all that is going to cost you $50 in the U.S.? Yikes, dudes! $50! That is very expensive for what doesn't feel like $50. I think it's the best way to describe it. You just look at the box and you're like, 50 bucks? Heck no. And you don't want to buy it. But of course, this set will be on sale at some point. It retains the newer 2018 box art, which looks pretty sleek with the, the white brick kind of build onto it. The side box art looks beautiful. As always, I always love the way they kind of gradient fill it into the, the, the actual box art. On the top here, you have the actual size minifigure. And more importantly, on the back, it's going to show you all the features of the set. So you get an idea of what this set can actually do before you have to buy it. And there isn't too much. It's kind of standard for most LEGO sets here. It's one of the more sushable LEGO sets, which we'll get to. But I will say I did buy this at the Star Wars Outpost store at Disney Springs, if you're wondering where I got it. And instruction manual is pretty typical for lego instruction manuals except when you get to the back which is where the fun stuff is you have all the new april minifigures that aren't part of the 20th anniversary wave and then flipping it over you have all of the 20th anniversary sets as well as the action battle attack sets or whatever so a lot of advertisements in this instruction manual which is sometimes fun to look at and could be annoying to some of you but i don't really care if uh, they have them or not so let's move on to the minifigs griff halloran is our first minifigure and this is one that i think a lot of people were excited for mainly for the helmet i love the new helmet print that he has it's on a an older style imperial helmet it just has like a skull basically printed onto it which looks really sleek if we take that off you'll see his face print and he actually does have an extra hair piece to throw on him so if you don't want to have that uh, helmet on there you can have him have a different look with the hair piece there and that's actually pretty sleek looking it i like the sleeveless look he has having taken the hair piece off and flipping him around there is no second facial expression which is kind of disappointing for a set you paid 50 dollars for you would think they could include two faces on a guy but that is not the case so that's griff halloran he comes with a small blaster and he is exclusive to this set as of now also exclusive to this set is Poe Dameron, and I love this outfit. I love the bright orange. It's kind of like a construction worker, to be honest. Like, it's not too far-fetched from there, but he has a really clean look. I love the black hair with the stubble beard. Everything just looks really clean on this guy, especially the white jacket he's got over the orange outfit. Like, it just all works really well, and I really love the color scheme on this particular character. Again, he is exclusive to this set, and if you remove his hairpiece, unlike Griff Halloran, he is going to have a second facial expression, so nice to see that, unlike the other minifigure but those are your two faces very nice minifigure again exclusive to this set so you're gonna have to pick up this set if you want them and honestly this might be a driving factor for a lot of people wanting to get this set the final minifigure has been in plenty of lego sets it's bb8 you've all seen bb8 before hopefully if this is your first time seeing the lego bb8 i guess you've been living under a rock for some time now but yes no changes to this figure as far as i'm aware just the same old bb8 nothing wrong with that so if you need a bb8 the black ace tie interceptor might be the one for you and here it is the black ace tie interceptor it's actually larger than what you see on the box which is always nice to see sometimes the box image is bigger than the actual set that you get out of the box, which is always disappointing. But yes, this set is quite a bit larger than what you see on the box. It's actually sturdier than I expected. So I guess we'll start up here. They use some nice pieces to kind of get a little bit of shaping at the front. Some people said it looks kind of like a halo plasma or energy sword. And I can see that you could totally use this to kind of jab and stab people like this would hurt a lot if you just, you know, really put some some power into it trying to hurt somebody like it's a sharp ending there anyway yeah so these things are basically like just large panels that extend out uh from the front fuselage or cockpit of the vehicle and they're actually sturdier than you would think for how far off the center they are so you'll see they could probably hold quite a bit of weight they aren't going to snap off because they're actually connected uh together here as well as with technics so lego actually did a pretty dang good job of of making it as sturdy as possible you can see the connection underneath there they've done a pretty good job so that is the design on the top there. You do have a couple of stickers there that add some extra detail, but 
you yeah, know, that you could do without them. They're not a make or break sticker. And obviously uh, on camera, the color looks a little bit off with the white. So if you, if you want to leave those out, if you want to omit the stickers, I don't think it's a big deal. That being said, we're going to go ahead and give this a test. Can you snap these? No. Like I said, they are pretty well built. They're on there pretty well. They're not just going to snap off, which is important because obviously kids are going to be playing with this and hitting it on things and having it not break off is very important. So great job by Lego to uh, go ahead and design it in a sturdy way. You can also hold it here and here and here without it breaking which is again important because kids are just going to pick this up like this and like it can't break if they do that right because that would be super annoying both for them and their parents and then you have to rebuild it and you have to go through the whole thing and yeah so thankfully Lego was actually able to uh, stop that from happening. You can see the other part of the wings here, just very nicely designed. It's a much, again, sturdier design than I was expecting. You have these flaps down here, which they have a shiny finish. I don't remember these flaps having a shiny finish, more reflective than in the past, I believe. I think they used to be a more matte finish. I'm pretty positive on that. You guys can, can fact check me, let me know from your collection, but I'm pretty dang sure these didn't used to be such a, a uh, shiny finish. They used to be a lot more matte, so... Interesting possible change there by Lego. We also have this spring-loaded shooter. You're going to find this on both sides. You all know how spring-loaded shooters work. This one's pretty exposed, so it's pretty prone to accidentally hitting it when you're playing around with the vehicle, but that's all right if you want to shoot it off. Pretty straightforward, and there it goes, so it's easy to use. You all know how spring-loaded shooters work. The engines in the back are very simple, just kind of orange cones to represent the thrust. You have some extra stickers on the back here with the what I guess would be the main engine here with the two... Oops, like I said, prone to uh, to hitting while you're you're messing around with it. So that just happened. What are you, not surprised. Anyway, the, there are a couple extra stickers there around that other engine, which are a nice design. But again, I, just the stickers on the set are not necessary to, uh, to make it look good, which sometimes is the case, but I would say this one is not uh, in that category. Again, just using these Lego sticks here or whatever to kind of get some extra contouring and detail to the vehicle. You have some extra blaster here that obviously doesn't shoot. You can flip these up and down if you like, but I honestly don't think it looks that great in the upward position. You can have it like that, which looks pretty dang whack to be honest. Like I would not, uh, I would not recommend displaying it like this. You know, you can do this in private, but don't show it to other people like that because it looks ridiculous. So outside of the shooters and those things that you can move up and down, the only other feature on this set is just that you can open up the cockpit. You can open up the top part and then the actual windshield part folds down. And then you can take Griff Halloran and throw him in there. You can see the inside there just has the double stud with the tile, which is nice. And then there's actually a couple of control panels in there that are printed. Those are an older design, but they are still very clean looking and good enough for me as far as I'm concerned. Those will be uh, very, very viable for control panels. Now, a very small cockpit, obviously not a lot of space in there for your minifigure, which is a little bit disappointing. You guys can see just how little space he has when you close that up very very confined in there and that barely closes without hitting his hands so lego did not give a lot of space to the cockpit area of this particular vehicle which for some people will be disappointing for myself i don't really care as long as the figure fits without any issues and that seems to be the case here you can't really do anything else with this particular set there's nowhere for his gun to go as far as i can tell you can see his his small blaster there there's no like clip or anything anywhere which is disappointing that's just a very typical lego thing to like throw a clip down underneath and they just didn't do it on this set which is disappointing you can see basically what is the landing i mean that's just what it sits on to keep it sturdy more or less and that's it for the underside again you can just place it down on the the table like that and it's it's a pretty sturdy land like it's not going to flip over anything the only thing you can do is really push down on it like this and then it's actually just going to go back to its original position there's no side to side wall or anything thanks to the the flaps on the wings there that kind of touch the ground so no real issues so this is one of two Star Wars Resistance sets, along with Von Reich's TIE Fighter, which costs 70 bucks plus 50 bucks for $120, you can have the Lego Star Wars Resistance collection. It's a pretty nice duo of sets there. You have two very swooshable sets where you can actually have them play around and fly back and forth and shoot their spring-loaded shooters at each other. And I think for that reason, if you have both sets, it's going to be a pretty great time. On their own, I guess the Von Reich's TIE Fighter is a better standalone set than the Black Ace, but I think if you get them both, you're going to have a much better time than if you have one on its own. I'm going to give the Black Ace a 6.5 out of 10. I just feel like it's lacking like any other feature other than what you would typically expect. It doesn't try to do anything outside of the box and 
Neither does really Von Reg's TIE Fighter. It's just a cockpit with spring-loaded shooters and swoosh ability. That's literally the only things these sets do, but that's why it's important to have them both because they don't really have a feature that makes them stand alone. They are great to have go back and forth, but again, just not on their own. Let me know what you think about the new Black Ace TIE Interceptor down in the comments section below. Again, 50 bucks for 396 pieces is gonna be a bit pricey for some people, so you might wanna wait for a sale, which of course you will get with Amazon and Walmart. They'll probably drop this thing to 40 bucks within a couple weeks of release. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Podameron out.